ladies and gentlemen, B. Smith has passed at the age of 70. Her husband made the announcement out on Facebook, um, said she died Saturday night. You know, my heart goes out to B. And I'm really sorry. The way that she spent the final years of her life with her husband, moving his girlfriend into their mansion, along with the stepdaughter who seemed to not even care about this woman. And that's, those were the people she spent her final years around. I really feel bad for her. So restaurateur and lifestyle maving B. Smith dies at age 70, family says. So they said it was complications from her Alzheimer's disease. And I remember when B. Smith had a show on TV back in the day. You know, I didn't watch it all the time, but I would see it. And she had a show very much like the one you see Martha Stewart doing. She actually was the original Martha Stewart. She did that well before Martha Stewart was even known. And this woman was quite a businesswoman. She really was. So besides having a show on TV, she wrote three books. She had products and goods that were sold in stores, Bed Bath & Beyond. And she was actually um, one of the first African-American women to sell her products nationwide with a retailer. And she had restaurants that she ran, one in Manhattan, one in Sag Harbor, and Washington, D.C. So really, a lot of the wealth that was gained was through her, you know, and it's a damn shame that all of the work and effort this woman put forward and her husband was cheating right in her face <laughs> because they always assume that she had Alzheimer's. She didn't know what was going on. They are not all the way gone. You know, my mother had dementia in the last part of her life. My mom still had a lucid moment every now and then, and she would know exactly what she was saying. And it would make sense. I mean, everything that came from her was not, you know, out in left field. There were a lot of things she did say to me and it indicated that she was not completely gone. And I remember reading that every now and then B would get angry with her husband flirting and kissing all over the live-in girlfriend and tell him she didn't like that mess. She didn't like it. So she wasn't all the way gone like they were claiming. And I didn't like the fact that they were treating this woman like a child, especially the girlfriend when she would say she would slap her hands. That's, that's a grown woman, not a child, you know, and that is the, that's just an overall problem with people that look like his girlfriend. You know, they have a tendency of treating us like children when we are grownups. So that, that, that problem goes well beyond B. Smith, you know, whole different subject matter. So, you know, this woman was definitely ahead of her time. I always thought she was a fascinated, you know, very fascinating kind of person. And to be honest with you, I was shocked when I saw her age. I always thought she was younger. <laughs> I was. I mean, I was really shocked. But there's a video here that comes out of um, NBC New York. I'm going to go ahead and play this video on B. Smith. Well, our own Chuck Scarborough once called her a domestic goddess. The New York Times labeled her a renaissance woman. And this morning, we have some sad news to pass along about a B. Smith, a beloved New Yorker, restaurateur and television host and businesswoman. She's died. Her husband, Dan Gasby, wrote of her passing on Facebook just a little while ago. Barbara Elaine Smith got her start as a model and actress and then moved into food and television, making her mark as a style maven, she'd go on to own restaurants here in Midtown and on Long Island in Washington. 
Smith, who was as kind as she was elegant, mm. was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2013. And she and her husband actually co-wrote a book about that journey called Before I Forget. B. Smith passed away at home on Long Island. She was 70 years old. And she'd been on this show many times. Oh, and you yes. knew her from Washington as well. And just, her husband, Dan, just true class acts. And uh, you know, they've been struggling like that for the last couple of years. And the way they talked about it was uh, very powerful. Very open. And so... Uh, we wish them well. Too. It helped a lot of people too through that journey with good advice and oh, yeah. yeah, God rest her soul. Yeah, she um, actually had a book called "Before." In New Jersey, a committee sorry about that. This morning. She had a book called, I believe, "Before I Forget." So she was trying to um, document as much about her Alzheimer's as possible while she, you know, at the point where she could still remember. So, wow. I mean, what a life she lived and what a sad ending for such, you know, this beautiful black woman. But I, I really, truly hope she, wherever she is, she's at peace. You know, she sure don't have to worry about this world anymore or the situation that she was in. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.